Today I'm going to show you about RPG Maker Parallax and how you can set up your game. So this sample game just takes you through some maps that I created. Um, here I'm walking through a forest. You can see the graphics are overlaid over the top of the character. And I have hit testing on certain parts of the map. When you reach the bottom of the map, it transfers you to a new location. Uh, here's showing you some testing, walking behind a building. In addition to uh, the basic layers, there's two setup layers that I'll show you later. But you can see the hit testing as you walk into trees and whatnot. I'm using only two plugins to accomplish this as well. So here's the third map, just showing some more walking through, hitting the trees. Uh, it, the pixel collision is not perfect, obviously, because of the size of the tiles, and we'll be trying to address that later. As you walk diagonally, you can see the head goes through the trees. So I'm going to take you into the project now and kind of show you how it's set up and what you can do to create this effect yourself. Okay, so first let me show you. This is the third map and there's an event on the screen. The first thing I do is show a picture and I pick the first picture is the background. So you'll see here the background has no trees in it, uh, just the road and the grass. So I'll select that, create that in picture number one then the second picture I show has all of the trees in it. So you'll see that the trees are set up and it's a transparent background so it overlays nicely on the first image. To get the images to show properly I'm using bind picture, bind picture to map plugin. And then to create the collision I have edited the tile set to create these X's and O's. So I'm going to demonstrate the O's. So all of the O's are passable and you can see here that when I overlay the tree images it maps up to it and you'll see the O's are all places you can walk and the X's will be where you cannot walk. In addition to the simple X's and O's I also created some additional shapes that you can then fill in. But once you create your map, then you just fill it in with a transparent one that's set to passable or not passable, and then you have your map settings for the collision. Now it's very basic again. Uh, I'd like to get into masking uh, collision pixel testing, but for this video I'm just going into the basics. The regions I have defined are movement regions, and I'm using a custom plugin I wrote for that. It just transfers you to the same uh, X or Y coordinate on the screen and you'll see all it is is a flag for the region what map to transfer it to. If the X or Y is set to a thousand it retains the current X or Y value otherwise it will adjust the Y value or X value accordingly and I use that just to transfer between maps so the second map is the same thing I have region transfers and I have the configuration very similar. You'll see that the importing of the parallax background uh, for the second map is very similar. So I'll show you that real quick. And you'll see the houses and the wood and the trees and where you can pass and walk through on that. So that's the basic setup for creating really neat parallax interfaces for RPG Maker MV.